guys and welcome to part one of a colour along that we're going to be doing out of the Colouring Heaven Fairy Tale Special with pictures from Hannah Lynn and I have uploaded a flip through onto my channel and now we're going to be doing part one which will be the skin and the hair. We're going to be using Touch 5 markers and Prismacolor pencils in order to get this done. I've chosen our lovely Tinkerbell which is on page 21 and it's from Peter Pan. I will be using Touch 5 markers as just a base and not to do any blending or any colouring with. And then we're going to be using Prismacolor pencils on top in order to achieve the final look that we're going for. So I'm going to make a start. I'm going to use number 131 which is Skin White. These are Touch 5 markers. They're a twin marker. You get a broad end and a fine end. I've showed these on my channel previously. I've popped a few pieces of card. I've put two to three pieces of card behind the image because we will have a bleed through as they are alcohol based. So I'm going to go with the thin nib on the end. I'm going to go over the entire skin area with skin white which is 131 and this is just going to be used as a base. This is not going to be how it will final, <laughs> the final look or the final appearance. So I was sent this by Jenny over at Colouring Heaven magazine, so thank you so much Jenny. She kindly asked me to do a colour along from it, which might help people who are not so confident in colouring these images. So hopefully by the end of this tutorial or this colour along, you will feel that you are able to do the exact same. If you don't want to use alcohol markers, that is absolutely fine, as I know they're not for everyone. I use mostly pencils, but I do use these on the Hannah Lynn pictures as a base, as I find they work really, really well. So my recommendation would be to get yourself a packet of these. You can get them in small packs, large packs, skin tone packs only. And I have personally got the 80 pack you get 80 various colours of the twin markers and they are inexpensive. They cost me 23 English pounds for 80 colours, which I think is really, really good. And they are really helpful and really handy to use as a base marker just for your Hannah Lynn pictures or any Create Space books as well. I find them really good in. You might get a little streak, but you might not. The trick is with these is to work in quick circular motions in order to try and avoid any streaking. So, just small, quick circular motions on the skin to try and cover the area and not get any streaks on your page. You do have to enable these to some time to dry before we put our pencils on but by the time we finish this part they should be dry so we can get immediately into the pencil work so I highly recommend these guys they are so good for doing these pictures with And you're only using as a base marker you're not using it for the entire picture I'm just gonna grab my other skin work I think this one's drying out yeah I just grabbed my other skin work they're touch fives because this might be a little bit more juicy, that's better. If you do have some streaks, it's absolutely fine because we go over with Prismacolor pencils. These are just your base marker to start with. So don't worry about any kind of streaking, your pencil is going to do the rest. Okay, so now we're going to get our Prismacolor pencils. I'm going to be using, excuse my hand, my arm. I 
I'm going to be using nectar to start with. I'm just going to sharpen my pencil, guys. So I'm going to be using PC1092, that is nectar. And I'm going to be picking out the areas in order that I want to have a shadow. So I go around the hairline generally. And initially I'm just picking out where I want my shadows, my light parts in the skin to be, and where I want to be going with that. So you can see I've got two different colours there, so that was okay. And obviously they are the same one, but they obviously are slightly different tones, so that's fine. So we're picking out on these parts of the skin where we would like our darker areas to be and our lighter areas to be. And on the neck you're going to come down and she would have more of a shadow under the neck so you can darken this up after with other pencils because we're going to be adding and layering on top. I'm going over all of this with nectar. Now I'm going to be getting henna, which is PC1031. Again, I recommend that you have quite a sharp point onto your pencil. Sorry for the shaking. And I'm going to be going over those areas in which I put the nectar down start to bring together where I want my dark parts on my skin to be. You're going to blend all this in with your lightest colour, which is light peach. I'm going to put a little shadow around her lips. And I'm going to put a tiny little rounded part for her nose. I'm going to bring it down onto her neck, where I want the darkest parts to be. And I am picking out exactly where I've gone with the nectar. So we're starting to get where we want our light and dark to go. Now I'm going to grab the colour peach. Which is... PC939 and I'm just going to go over those parts but blend it out into her lighter areas a little bit before I come in with my lightest peach. So we're just going to bring that together a little bit and that's like what I always use with my skin as you've probably watched if you're not new to my channel. If you're new to my channel 
I generally use the same kind of colours for my skin tones and I have the same techniques. So this is with our peach and we're going all over. Now I'm going to get the colour Espresso. This is where I start to pick out where I want my darkest parts to be on the face. So we're going over not the entire parts what we've just done, but we're going to go over some. So I'm going to grab Espresso now, which is PC1099. And just where there might be the darkest shadows on her face from her hair, from the shadowing, like depending on where your light source is coming from. The ear might be a bit darker. Same as this top bit with the eyelid. It's a little bit there and a little bit on this side of the cheek. And with the mouth, So you are just picking out parts that you want to be the darkest now before we start blending and adding stuff in. Under the chin you will have more of a shadow because that generally is where the light's not going to catch. So we will have a darker area underneath the chin and where she her sort of cheek is angled towards her shoulder I'm just going to add a little bit more of a darking, dark and sort of shadow here. And here too. Also on there, here and here. Now I'm going to grab, which is a really bizarre choice you're thinking, but trust me it's going to work. <laughs> so now I have bought in the colour Palmer Violet which is PC1006 and I'm just going to go where the espresso was only a small amount and I'm going to feather that out I don't want a huge amount because we're going to add it in but we're going to blend it in so we don't want masses of this we just want a little bit. I just like a little bit of it in the skin tones on the Hannah Lynn pictures. And this was recommended by a friend. And once I tried it, I thought, oh, I absolutely love this effect. Now with the peach, which is PC939. I'm just going to blend in that purple. But I'm going to stop because I want to get the light peach on the last colour. So I'm just blending in those darker colours, guys. And now I'm going to get my lightest colour, which is Light Peach in PC927. And I'm going to go over the entire area now and blend those edges in. So you're covering all of those pencil edges.
I'm just going to get a small amount of black. So this is PC935 and just in the very corners I am going to put a little darker and under her chin just so that that shadows it and makes it quite effective. And with the eyelashes, because I have kind of gone over them with pencil, I just want to darken those back up because you can sometimes lose the lines to the peach. Same with the eyebrows. Now with the eyebrows, just to make it look a bit realistic, I always add a little wispy part, just with small strokes. That's just me. Just ever so slightly, just so that, you know, it resembles a little bit. <laughs> and then I'm going to come back over these lines here. And that one there. And under the arm as that would have shadowed. Okay, so her skin is done. I'm going to make her lips quite peachy, so I'm going to do peach in PC939 onto the lips. I'm going to go over the entire lip with that. Sorry for the interruption folks, I had someone at the door. So we're back onto the lips and I have picked up henna in PC1031 and I'm going to pick out where I would like the darker parts of the lips and I'm going to leave some highlight. And then I'm going to come in with espresso and I'm just going to darken a little bit on the inner part where your mouth would close ever so slightly. And then I'm going to go over all of that with light peach in PC927. And that is her skin done and her lips done. Now we're going to go on to the subject of the eyes. And being that she's Tinkerbell, I think she should have some green eyes. So I'm going to grab my lightest shade of green, which will be PC912 in Apple Green. And I'm going to go over all of the eye. And I'm going to leave the lightest part towards the bottom in the middle. And I'm going to do that with both. And that is our first colour. It's not going to be that. <laughs> so now I am going to grab olive green in PC911. And from the upper part of the eye, I am going to bring that down over the apple green to the middle. And again on this eye. And then I am going to get espresso, which seems like a bizarre choice, but it's just to darken up the very tops of the eyes. And you are only doing it into the top corners, not much. And then I'm going to get that olive green again and just blend that in a little bit, just in the corners. And then I'm going to get white in PC938 and in the middle at the bottom I'm going to use that to blend in. Now I'm going to get a black fine liner, you can use any. I have got the Staedtler pigment liner in 0 0.5 and I'm going to go over all of that area with black.
You can use any black fine liner that you've got, a Posca pen or black pencil. You can use any of those. And then I've got a Uniball Signo and this is a great white gel pen. And I'm going to put in just a couple of dots. And then I'm going to get a black pencil in PC935. You've got to make sure this is really sharp. It has to be sharp because we're going to add in a little bit of an effect on the eye. So within the eye we have tiny little lines and very lightly you're going to add those lines in. So you're going to run the entire eye now you can go over those lines a little bit darker, but not too dark that it's going to overshadow the eye. Okay. And now I'm going to grab my white gel pen. And I'm going to put in just a small amount of gel pen, if it will work. Again, this is optional. And that just gives a little twinkle to her eyes. So that is part one. We have done her skin, her eyes and her lips. So I will be coming back with part two, which will be her hair, and we're going to make a start on her dress. So we're going to do that in part two. So thanks for joining me, guys. We'll be back with part two very shortly on our Tinkerbell from the Colouring Heaven Fairy Tale Special. So thank you for joining me on this video, and I will see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.